It's in the nature of experimentation that few will succeed and few will not succeed. Um, but what is important is to not look at failure as an end state. You know, the three words that come to mind is model coach care. Um, the right model is about you've got a role model, your behavior, uh, you know, the behavior you expect from others. You've got a role model that behavior yourselves. I think coaching is very important. Um, there is a lot that is changing. Uh, there is a lot of new skills that have to be built. So you have to coach your teams. You have to coach your employees into what they have to go do and learn. And then I think care is very important. You've got to make sure you care about your employees. You care about their uh, well-being. You care about the circumstances they are in. I spend a lot of time with my wife and she's a very important role model for me. No one person has had more impact and more influence on me uh, than my wife. We know each other from school. Um, and I think we've been in the technology industry, both of us, and, and so sort of have grown together uh, and helped each other, uh, which is there. But the way she manages, I think, both her work life and her personal life uh, is, is something that I aspire to do. She has her own business now, so that's another aspect of aspiration. I think uh, if you look at 2020, this is definitely a year uh, that everyone will remember as we all know. As technology adoption happened uh, due to hybrid working due to the pandemic, I think there was a need to skill everyone uh, on digital technology so that they could use this technology in their daily lives. And, and there was a need to provide easy access to this. So I'd say those were sort of the main milestones, I think initially starting with making sure we do remote working for ourselves, enabling our customers and partners and uh, uh, our communities, and then providing easy access to skilling is really what 2020, if you were to reflect back on that, was all about. You know, technology is such an area that, that you know, you, you're bound to have failure. I mean, look, at the end of the day, you're constantly driving innovation. You're constantly driving experimentation. And, uh, you know, like it's in the nature of experimentation that few will succeed and few will not succeed. Um, but what is important is to not look at failure as an end state. Just to give you one example, I think one of our closest customers, Paisa Bazaar, uh, I mean, they are in the business of uh, insurance and, and uh, you know, that was a completely paper-based process, uh, which uh, in the wake of the pandemic, they moved completely online. It's a total digital reimagination. So I think the key to dealing with failure is to having a mindset which, which lets you grow and not treat failure as an end state. So the safest way to say this is if the future of work is going to be hybrid um, and what it will require, uh, right, it requires seamless connectivity. But what's also uh, important is as we look towards the future, right, is, is not to look at just the technology, but to have a people first approach, um, right, to how uh, hybrid work is going to work together. I mean, reality is there is a lot of fatigue uh, that is happening. You know, our, our uh, work trend index uh, study showed that uh, a lot of people were facing uh, video fatigue, you know, by just the fact that the video is on all the time and you have to be in front of a screen. Um, you know, nine to five is out of the window as all of us have experienced uh, because everyone's available. You just have to set up a call and, and there you are on. I think there is a blurring of boundaries between work life and, and personal life. So one part is just making sure technology becomes better and helps you. Uh, plan that out. I think the second aspect is, I, I, I spoke about the people first approach, is just having a culture which is more people centric, which prioritizes employee well-being. And I think the last part here is, it's going to be very important, the, the role of the manager is going to be very important in hybrid work. Um, because the manager is the closest uh, leader present for the team. Never has been the pace of technology adoption been so fast. So I think if you look at 10 years, few things stand out. I think one, every business is going to be a technology business. I think second is people are going to use data and AI um, a, a lot more uh, in this virtual world that we are imagining. You know, whenever someone is very busy, more often than not, it's a signal. Uh, right, and it's a signal that you're not, uh, you know, A, intelligent enough to pick up the right things and you're not courageous enough to drop the things that, that don't matter. So don't be busy, Raji. Be purposeful, right? And I think that's changed my approach every time I'm looking at a role uh, to say, uh, you know, am I just being busy and doing things and going through the motions or, or do I have an end state in mind? Is there an outcome I'm driving towards? And is that purpose inspiring me into doing what I'm doing? If there is one skill that people should pick up, 
uh, I think uh, between uh, IQ and EQ, uh, I would highly recommend EQ. I think that's an area, that's a muscle that everyone can do better with. I do have a, a, a strong interest in astrophotography. I like it because it, it, it involves both the uh, faculties of the brain, uh, and that's what I love about it. I think that's a good growth mindset that you have to apply there, of how you can take a pretty ordinary looking camera, but you are able to shoot something which is, uh, you know, millions of years away. That's what fascinates me, and that's what, you know, whenever I get time, I, I try to spend my time on that.